Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to our read aloud time of Sideways Stories from Wayside School. We're almost at the end. Today we are going to read chapter 28, Nancy, Nancy. Here we go. Nancy had big hands and big feet. He didn't like his name. He thought it was a girl's name. None of the other children in Mrs. Jewell's class thought that Nancy's name was odd. They didn't think of it as a girl's name or as a boy's name. Nancy was just the name of the quiet kid with the big hands and feet who sat over there in the corner next to John. Nancy was very quiet and shy. He was ashamed of his name. He had only one friend, a girl who went to class on the 23rd story of Wayside School. They were friends for a good reason. He didn't know her name and she didn't know his. They just called each other, hey you, or just play you. Nancy was afraid to ask his friend what her name was because then he might have to tell her his name. He could never figure out why she never asked, but he was happy just to leave it well enough alone. One morning, Nancy and his friend were late. When they got to the 23rd story, his friend's teacher was waiting outside. Hurry up, you're late, Mac, said the teacher. Nancy's friend turned red. She didn't move. Come on, Mac, shake a leg, get the lead, get the lead out, said the teacher. Your name is Mac, said Nancy. Mac was very pretty. She had red hair and freckles. She covered her face and ran into the room. My name is Nancy. Nancy called after her. Mac stepped back outside. I was ashamed to tell you my name, she said. Me too, said Nancy. Nancy's a girl's name. Oh, I think it's cute, said Mac. Well, I like the name Mac, said Nancy. Mac is a boy's name, said Mac. My mother has a rich aunt named Nancy, said Nancy. That's why she gave me the name. My mother once had a dog named Mac, said Mac. Hey, do you want to trade? Nancy asked. Can we? asked Mac. I don't see why not, said Nancy. Okay, said Mac. They both spun around 100 times in opposite directions until they were so dizzy that they fell over. When they stood up, Mac was Nancy and Nancy was Mac. They said goodbye. Then Mac, now Mac, raced up to Mrs. Jewell's room. He was no longer shy. Hi, everybody. My name's Mac, he announced. I traded names, and he held out his big hand. Todd jumped up and shook it. Hi, Mac, he said. Glad to meet you. How you doing, Mac, said Ron. Howdy, Mac, said Terrence. Nice to see you, Mac, said Bebe. You traded names, asked Jason. Jason didn't like his name either. That's right, Jason, old boy, said Mac. Is that allowed? asked Jason. Why not? said Mac. Hey, anybody want to trade? Jason called. I'll trade with you, said Terrence. He didn't like his name either. Wait, I'll trade with you, Terrence, said Mauricia. Mauricia didn't like her name. No, he's trading with me, said Jason. I'll trade with you, Mauricia said Damien. No, thanks, said Mauricia. I'll trade with you, Damien, said Mrs. Jules. No, I want to be Mrs. Jules, said Stephen. It turned out that nobody in Mrs. Jules' class liked his name. The children all spun around in different directions until they got so dizzy that they fell over. And when they stood up again, nobody knew who anybody was. What are we going to do, Mrs. Jules? asked Leslie, who was really Eric Bacon. My name is not Mrs. Jules, it's Mauricia, answered Terrence, who was really Jason. It is not, I'm Mauricia, said Dee Dee, who was really Joe. You're both wrong, said Mauricia, I'm Mrs. Jules. This went on for an hour. At last they figured out who the real Rondi was. She was missing her two front teeth. After they figured out Rondi, they were able to get Allison pretty easily. And then from there, they got DJ Damien and Mrs. Jules. She was the oldest one. Eventually, they figured out who everybody really was. They had some difficulty deciding which Eric was which, 
And actually, they are still not absolutely sure. Everybody just decided to keep his own name. The children didn't like them, but it made things much easier. But Mac and Nancy kept their new names. But when they were together, they still called each other, hey you, or just plain you. And so that is the story of Nancy. Our next chapter is Stephen. All right, see you then.